All right, so let's continue, and this is Psalms chapter 34, verse 3. Glorify Yahweh with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought Yahweh, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. Proverbs 13 and 9. The light of the righteous shines brightly, but the lamp of the wicked is snuffed out. Where there is strife, there is pride, but wisdom is found in those who take advice. Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. And now let's read Psalm chapter 40 verse 4. Blessed is the one who trusts in Yahweh, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Psalms 105 and 4. Look to Yahweh and his strength. Seek his face always. Okay, just like we read in Psalms 34 and 5. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 17. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of Yahweh. So again, the Most High Yahweh says that we must not envy the oppressor or choose any of their ways. But instead, we are to be zealous for the fear of Yahweh. And how can you always be zealous for the fear of Yahweh? Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 tells you how. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. You see that? That's how you're going to keep yourself from not envying sinners, all right? Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For Yahweh your God will be with you wherever you go. Psalms 46 and 2 Therefore we will not fear Though the earth give way And the mountains fall into the heart of the sea Though its waters roar and foam And the mountains quake with their surging There is a river whose streams make glad the city of the Most High the holy place where the Most High dwells. The Most High is within her. She will not fall. The Most High will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. Yahweh Almighty is with us. The Most High of Jacob is our fortress. And now we read in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 19. People of Teziah one who live in Yarawashalom, you will weep no more. How gracious he will be when you cry for help. As soon as he heals you, he will answer you. Although Yahweh gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Your teachers will be hidden no more. With your own eyes, you will see them. This is why it says here in Proverbs 20 and 12, ears that hear and eyes that see, Yahweh has made them both. So continuing in Isaiah 30 and 21, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears 
will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. And now, let us read in Exodus chapter 33, verse 18, right? Because we already read about the blessed eyes and the blessed ears that the Most High Yahweh will bless the sincere with. So, Exodus 33 and 18 says, Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. And Yahweh said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you, and I will proclaim my name, Yahweh, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But here's the key point. Yahweh says, but you cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. Okay, which is a precept to Job 19 and 26. And it says, And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see the Most High. Why? Because the Most High will give you, who honor His name, you. Who believe wholeheartedly in him he will give you a new heart and put within you a new spirit okay so therefore you will be able to walk in the in the spirit you don't believe me well this is the reason why we're going to read this here in psalms 116 and 6 yahweh protects the unwary when i was brought low he saved me return to your rest my soul for yahweh has been good to you which is a precept to two scriptures. So before we continue in this uh, scripture here, we're going to read this in Isaiah 30 and 15. This is what the Sovereign Yahweh, the Holy One of Yahshua says, In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. But some people would not have none of it. So, Another precept in Micah chapter 6 verse 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does Yahweh require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Listen, Yahweh is calling to the city, and to fear your name is wisdom. He the rod, and the one who has appointed it. All right, so again, this is why it says in Psalms 116 and 7, Return to your rest, my soul, for Yahweh has been good to you. For you, Yahweh, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. And now we're going to read in Isaiah 33 and 14. The sinners and Tezion are terrified. Trembling grips the godless. Who of us can dwell with the consuming fire? Who of us can dwell with the everlasting burning? Well, those who are willing and obedient. All right. So this is why we're going to read here. Psalms 116 and 9. That I may walk before Yahweh in the land of the living. I trusted in Yahweh when I said I am greatly afflicted. In my alarm I said everyone is a liar. What shall I return to Yahweh for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of Yahweh. I will fulfill my vows to Yahweh in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his faithful servants. Truly, I am your servant, Yahweh. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. Okay? So this is what it means here. Alright? This is what it means in Job 19 and 26. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. And now, we can go ahead and continue with Isaiah 33 and 14. Again, who of us can dwell with the consuming fire? Who of us can dwell with everlasting burning? Right. This is the reason why you know Enoch, his uh, you know his his body got changed, right? 
So, verse 15 says, Those who walk righteously and speak what is right, who reject gain from extortion and keep their hands from accepting bribes, who stop their ears against plots of murder and shut their eyes against contemplating evil, they are the ones who will dwell on the heights whose refuge will be the mountain fortress all right again which is talking about the most high house holy hill this is why in joel chapter 2 verse 32 it says and everyone who calls on the name of yahweh will be saved for on mount Zion one and in yahweh will be holy all right it says their bread will be supplied and water will not fail them Furthermore, this is the whole key point here. Your eyes will see the king in his beauty and view a land that stretches afar. Why? Because the Most High Yahweh has blessed you with ears that hear and eyes that see. Okay? This is the reason why. You know, the Most High Yahweh says that uh, in repentance and rest is your salvation and quietness and trust is your strength right because the most high will leaves us besides quiet waters all right there is a river that makes glad the city of god so this is why it says your eyes will see the king in his beauty and view a land that stretches afar furthermore in your thoughts you will ponder the former terror right because why because the most high is going to give you a peace of mind all right let's see if we can go ahead and try to bring this out okay Isaiah 32 and 19 though hail flattens the forest and the city is leveled completely how blessed you will be sowing your seed by every stream and letting your cattle and donkeys range free okay so let's go ahead and see if we can get another precept to this and isaiah chapter 32 verse 17 and it says the fruit of that righteousness will be peace its effect will be quietness and confidence forever you see that so this is why it says here in isaiah 33 and 18 in your thoughts you will ponder the former terror right because you know we were all believing in, in lies before all right whichever lies we were believing in but they were lies okay so the most high Yahweh says that he is reviving us now you see what I'm saying? This is the reason why our people were considered to be spiritually dead, right? Because they did not know anything about their God, about themselves, and what he had taught them. Hosea 6 and 2. Well, let's go ahead and start off at verse 1. Come, let us return to Yahweh. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. How? Well, by giving us back our fruitful thoughts. You see what I'm saying? This is the reason why the Most High Yahweh says this here now. Let's go ahead and... Uh, quickly get this scripture and Joel 2 and 25 I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten All right the locusts are considered to be these other nations that uh, looted us and plundered us the great locusts and the young locusts and the other locusts and the locust swarm my great army that I sent among you you will have plenty to eat until you are full and you will praise the name of Yahweh your God who has worked wonders for you never again will my people be shamed all right so Hosea 6 and 1 come let us return to Yahweh he has torn us to pieces but he will heal us he has injured us but he will bind up our wounds after two days he will revive us on the third day he will restore us that we may live in his presence you see that's what the most high Yahweh says that he is basically making a way for his people you know he was uh, reviving us giving us our fruitful thoughts you know all by trusting in his name 
So, you know, this is the reason why the Most High Yahweh says that, uh, you know, we have to basically follow in His ways. You understand what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and see if we can get back to Scripture here. Sorry. Give me a second. Okay. There we go now. Isaiah 33 and 19. I'm sorry. We didn't finish with verse 18. Sorry. So it says here, In your thoughts you will ponder the former terror. Where is that chief officer? Where, where is the one who took the revenue? Where is the officer in charge of the towers? All right, which again, you know, it's talking about all these ruthless nations. This is why it says here, You will see those arrogant people no more. People whose speech is obscure, right? Their strange speech. Always talking about death and destruction and terror. That says whose language is strange and incomprehensible, right? Because they speak, you know, hard things of Yahweh's glory. Okay. Now, look what it says here. Look unto Zion. Again, the Most High Yahweh has blessed you with spiritual ears and spiritual eyes. So, look unto Zion, the city of our festivals. Your eyes will see Yahweh Washlam, a what? A peaceful abode. All right, that's the reason why the Most High Yahweh says that there will not be any uh, wild beasts here, okay? Any untamed animals. But only the righteous, only the peaceful, those who are not violent. That says a tent that will not be moved. Why? Because the Most High Yahweh says that if anybody try to move it, well, they will only injure themselves. Its stakes will never be pulled up or any of its ropes broken. Why? Because the Most High Yahweh says that his kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom, all right? And that kingdom will destroy all the other kingdoms. So this is why. And now we're going to read in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. This is what Yahweh says, Cursed is the one who trusts in men, who draws strength from mere flesh and whose heart, whose mind, turns away from Yahweh. That person will be like a bush in the wasteland. They will not see prosperity when it comes. They will dwell in the parched places of the desert, in a salt land where no one lives. So, you know, it's basically letting you know, just like uh, all these other kingdoms got destroyed, right? They got wasted away. Well, that's how all these other kingdoms, which created so-called gods and you know made for themselves religions and uh you know made for themselves laws and whatnot well they're going to be destroyed too just like egypt just like rome just like sodom and gomorrah all right so this is why it says these people who trust in men they will dwell in the parched places of the desert in a salt land where no one lives but blessed is the one who trusts in yahweh whose confidence is in him all right you see because this is the difference here let's go ahead and see if we can find this quickly Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 12 says Yahweh are you not from everlasting my God my holy one you will never die you Yahweh have appointed them who was well, talking about the wicked kings of the earth the same people who gave you religion and you know man-made laws right it says you have appointed them to execute judgment you my rock have ordained them to punish you see why they speak strange things right because Yahweh, our God is a just God you see that he's merciful he's compassionate he he's all about love right for those who love him for those who are willing and obedient of course right because the most high you know he's, he's all about balance you understand that? But these people here, right, they speak strange things concerning the Most High's glory, you know. They say that the Most High is over-righteous, or they say that he's over-wicked, you know. They make up things. So this is why the Most High Yahweh says that he have appointed them to execute judgment. He has ordained them to punish. This is the reason why the scripture says that our rock is not like them, all right. Or rather say their rock is not like our rock. Okay, which most high willing, if we have time, we'll go over that in the next part. But, blessed is the one who trusts in Yahweh, whose confidence is in Him.